Let's learn how to handle patch requests. A patch request lets us make partial modifications to a resource. Since we are only working with a single property called text, updating a comment will be pretty straightforward. First, let me show you what a patch request looks like in Thunder Client. We'll start by changing the HTTP verb from get to patch. We will keep the same URL since we are updating the comment with ID 3. In the body tab, under the JSON section, we will add an object with the text property set to a different string, updated comment. When we hit send, we get a status 405 method not allowed. Let's fix that by adding a handler for patch requests. In our route.ts file inside the ID folder, we will create a new route handler function, export async function patch. This function receives two parameters, request and context. I will copy the parameters from our get handler function. Inside the function, we first destructure the ID by awaiting params. Next, we get the JSON body from the request using await request.json. We assign it to a constant called body. Now we are using request, so let's remove the underscore from our parameter. Next, from body, we destructure the comment text. To find the comment we want to update, we can use either array.find or find index. I'm going with find index since we will need it for delete operations later. So const index is equal to comments.findindex comment such that comment.id is equal to parse int the id parameter. Once we find the comment, we simply update its text property. So comments of index dot text is equal to the text from the request. Finally, return the updated comment as a JSON response. Return response.json comments of index. Now heading back to Thunder Client and hitting send, we get a 200 status code with our updated comment in the response. ID3 text updated comment. If you make a get request from the same tab to slash comments, we can see our updated comment in the array. ID3 text updated comment. This is how we handle patch requests in route handlers. Please note that any changes to comments will only exist in memory and won't be saved to the file system. In data.ts, you will continue to see the original text for comment ID 3. Up next, we will look at handling delete requests. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.